This is Ryan Abraham, Dan Weber, USCFootball.com, Instant Analysis, here at the LA Coliseum, the, uh, Dan, the first scrimmage of uh, Spring Football 2013. You got to see a uh, controlled scrimmage. Uh, the stats weren't all that gaudy. I guess the big news coming out of it, a couple of big guys went down with knee injuries before the scrimmage even started. Yeah, and I'm not even sure we call them total injuries or just, you know, got banged or twisted or rolled up on, but uh, Max Wittig kind of got caught underneath on a loose ball on a uh, field goal block drill, yeah. and he was the backup holder. Uh, somebody, you know, came in, got an ice bag on his knee uh, for, for practice, so he didn't get to participate. Mark Lee in an early seven on seven, caught a touchdown and uh, kind of went down awkwardly. He was down for a, yeah, two minutes maybe, yeah. but certainly got up and started running off after the you know trainer looked at him. Uh, just guessing by, you know, by listening to Lane after, uh, after the scrimmage. He's not terribly worried. He was kidding about uh, what do you think of the you know wide receiver. He said, "Well, Marquise Lee's awfully good and <laughs> seven on seven. Yeah. So, uh, but you know, and I wouldn't probably emphasize it all that much until we know anything different. Obviously, they got to get him checked out. But uh, it'll uh, you know it'll enable people who are really worried about injuries to to <laughs> get their get their game on from practice uh, first scrimmage. Uh, it's time to you know get ready to." handle uh, that's what happens in football yeah he actually joked Kevin joked that Marquis Lee was the best corner on the team too oh, they that's right. they sorry. flipped yeah. yeah they flipped off the uh flipped off, not flipped off flipped over the uh the receivers and the cornerbacks and he actually had an interception in the end zone but overall the defense really did dominate today I mean that's at least what Kiffin said it just looked like at that active front those front five guys just were always in the backfield yeah I mean they had uh, five sacks they just uh I think the two leading uh, rushers had a total 27 yards and eight carries with uh, DJ Morgan and, and uh, Justin Davis. Uh, uh, Cody Kessler got his game going, I thought, really well, adjusting to, as he said, you know, I mean, for Max, this is his first week as a center, and he's kind of got that natural uh, uh, offensive tackles ability, or he wants to get his butt underneath him, and he kind of gets prepared in there. So there were some, uh, you know, miss uh, miss snaps, but uh, but I thought, you know, Cody was 12 for 15 for 192 yards. So he, you know, figured out how I've got to play quick, and he does play quick. As Lane said, he's a gamer. He did a beautiful uh, kind of shovel type pass on a on a you know on a scramble where he throws an underhand down the field, and he had uh, three or four really nice. Uh, you know, nice 30, 35 yard completion. So uh, it was, uh, it wasn't going to be a day. I mean, it, you know, they're going to have to get fast. They're going to have to get quick. And that's the beauty of playing this defense is you can't stand around on offense or you, you, you won't be allowed to play. Yeah. I mean, that's the good thing. And they're turning the defense loose and saying, go get them. And uh, the defense loves it. I mean, Hayes Pillard said, this is so great. He said, we got five defensive linemen and I can hide out there. Yeah. You know, they can't <laughs> find me. And uh, and then Lamar Dawson was the MVP, you know, player of the day. Uh, so he, you know, he's really adjusting. Lane said, you know, he's really adjusting to this defense. It looks like, you know, fortuitously or not, if you had to say what would be the best defense for this group of guys to run, it probably is this defense. They yeah. just match personnel-wise, uh, skill set-wise, they match up really well with this. 52. Yeah, and the stand-up outside linebackers, defensive ends, whatever you want to call them, Morgan Breslin and Devon Kennard just seem to be in the backfield all the time. Anything that wide, they seem to swallow it up. Morgan Breslin had four tackles, and all four of them were for a loss. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, and, and Devon Kennard, I was talking to him afterwards, I said, it looks to me like you're, you're bigger, stronger, quicker, uh, sure of yourself. He said, yeah, absolutely. He <laughs> said, you know, this is the best this is the best thing I've ever done, the best I've ever been. This is really good. So it, it really is going to be interesting to see. It's kind of like one of those deals where the two ends say, let's meet at the quarterback yeah. and see which one Morgan or Devon <laughs> gets there first. You know, I mean, it really and, and you had guys like Antoine Woods just, you know, he blew up a play in the middle of the backfield that yeah. he looked like he came, you know, coming out of, you know, had a rocket, uh, you know, it just uh, very, very. And the other thing is, I thought the the, the uh, tackling angles were great, and they really ran through people. I mean, they tackled so much better today than they did at the Sun Bowl. You can't even compare them. It doesn't even look like the same game. I mean, so good for them. All right. Well, signing out here from the Coliseum, 
One week of USC football, spring football 2013 is in the books. For Dan Weber, this is Ryan Abraham. Check out uscfootball.com for more.